Hello everybody, welcome to Heather's Crafts. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make these pumpkins, pumpkins for Halloween. Um, you can hang this anywhere, you can hang it on your fireplace, um, your wall, whatever, whatever suits you. So, yeah, won't you come join me and I'll show you what you'll need and how to make these. Okay, um, I am going to do that. I'm doing this outside, so if you hear any noise, mind it. It's just noise. But anyway, I'm going to show you what you are going to need to make this project. You're going to need some orange yarn. It doesn't matter where you get it from or whatever, just orange. You'll need some twine for the hanging. You'll need some pipe green green um, craft pipe cleaners or whatever you call them. Um, something to kind of measure to separate the um, pumpkins. I'll show that. I'll, I'll show you that in a little bit. But um, you can use a roller or anything to kind of measure how far you want your pumpkin. And you'll need scissors. So this is all that you'll need. I'm going to go ahead and start making my pumpkin. First of all, when you first get yarn... Make sure you pull it out from here because they have a section so it's easy to pull out or whatever. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my rings off because it makes it a little difficult. But anyway, um, you want to wrap, um, so you want to wrap about 50 times like this. Go ahead and wrap around until you get to 50. So I got one, two, three, four, five. give me a string okay now you are going to show you it's still tight in there you want to take the yarn here place it underneath your finger and then you want to Take the other part and kind of just shove it down in there in between the finger there. Some people have trouble doing it. Come on. Get down in there. Let's see if I can see it. Yep, there it is. Just kind of pull it out like that. Here's your other piece. Just kind of even it out. Like so. And just go ahead and take this off your finger. And then you want to tighten it like this. I do it twice to make sure it's nice and tight and snug. Okay, now you just kind of want to 
adjust the pumpkin, make it more round here. So, get out of here, B. Okay, you just wanna see how it's looking so far, almost like a pumpkin. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and get me a pipe cleaner, green one. Then. How I stick this through is I kind of lift this up a little bit where I tied it right there and just kind of stick it through there like that. And then get my string here. I already like cut one out. I kind of like measured, I also measured my uh, fireplace. I actually have two already on just to show you I got two already making so I'm gonna tell you about that measuring part where did my thing go there it is I take it from here from the beginning of that part and then to the end kind of stretch it out and then I mark okay right here is where I need this one to be placed um, to make extra tightness, make sure it ain't going to come out, I take them two strands here that I use to tighten and I just basically, I'm just going to basically tie it on there like this. Tie it on there like that. And then I'm going to cut these off so it doesn't look bad. I'm gonna fold up on it like this. Kind of just like twist it on there, like so. And then where I have the little piece at right here, I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off like that. Kind of give it a nice twist look and just bend it, make it look like a stub or whatever you call that. <laughs> and then there you go. And just keep going until you reach the end of your string. That's all you got to do. So um, when I'm done. I will show you the finished project. So that's all you gotta do. Pretty easy peasy. Everybody, my finished product is done. Look at them. So these are gonna go on my fireplace. So yeah, pretty easy, simple craft um, idea you can do with your kids, um, whoever you want. Grandma, sister, brother whoever so but yeah look at it look how cute they look yarn pumpkins so if you like this channel hit thumbs up like and support my channel and make sure you click on that bell to, to be notified when I upload another awesome easy craft and um, I will talk to you later bye